Now that you have run a third sub 44 a second time, how does it feel to be consistent at that level? Uh, I just wanted to you know, prove I'm one of the best ever. I want to be consistently under 44. And let's just see how far this world goes. Uh, I want to get a gold to solidify myself as one of the best ever. I want to be with the likes of uh, Michael Johnson, uh, Jeremy Warner, uh, you name it. And you know, Sir Labour's got a gold. And I don't see myself as one of the best ever. And I want at least the best in Europe until I get a gold and replicate that. So, you know, the aim of the game is a clean slate after the Olympics. The aim now is just to get a gold, solidify myself, and keep going until let's see how far the world goes. I'm now consistently under 43. Let's see, let's, let's try and push it, and we never know. So next year you'll go for gold in Tokyo? Most definitely. Every time you step on a track, you aim for gold. Uh, and I'm no different. I want to aim for the gold. I want to keep pushing the boundaries. I don't want to be dominant. Are you going for Nanjing and indoors as well? No, no. Not at I'm all. I'm not an indoor runner. So yeah, okay. You know, my aim is basically, it's always going to be outdoors. Indoors mm. doesn't suit me mm -hmm. with my stripe pattern and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, outdoors is always the aim for me. So time-wise, next year you'll go for a consistent 43, 80-ish and, and every less? Time step, so every time I step on the track now, I want to be 43 or better. So let's just be consistent. Keep winning and go from there. Wonderful. Thank you, Matthew. All the best for next year. Thank See you, you. around.